So what's the agenda, Dean? The agenda is government control. I've been told that I need to remind everybody to like or subscribe or hit the little bell thingy. I don't know what the little bell thingy is, but hit the little bell thingy. That's apparently the YouTube thing to do. I'm trying not to rant and rave in this subject because we're back onto COVID-19 and it's now having a resurgence and there's a whole lot of things coming out. There's a municipal hospital in the Eastern Cape, a big municipal hospital in the Eastern Cape that is overwhelmed with COVID cases are the reports. The numbers are up 50% increase in reported cases. Well, how much more are you testing? And with 20% more people being admitted into hospital. Okay, do you know what the numbers are? The actual numbers, not the percentage rubbish numbers that you can make it sound like it's really awful. They are overwhelmed in a hospital with 20 patients. 20. 20 patients in a major municipal hospital has overwhelmed them because they've only got eight beds. What was the reason for lockdown? <clears throat> so that the medical services, what is one of the main fears? The medical services being overwhelmed. The reason for lockdown is so that the medical services around the country can prepare. In March, it's November. It's November. It's the 26th of November and the hospital is overwhelmed. Sorry, Dean, don't rant. Calm down. Breathe in. The hospital is overwhelmed because they've only got eight beds. Billions of rands have been spent on readiness, getting ready for the COVID-19 virus and phase, they knew that phase, more phases were coming, etc. Okay, so where's the preparation? I think there is a coup that's happening. We are being totally schmuckled. They know that this virus is nowhere nearly as dangerous as what they've made it out to be. And I'm not a denier. There is a virus or there is a sickness. 5G, I don't know. I don't care. It is more dangerous than the flu. I certainly don't want to get it, etc., etc., etc. But I don't want to get TB either. Um, but this is not to the level of what they are prescribing, yet they are magnifying it because the, there's an agenda. So what's the agenda, Dean? The agenda is government control. International national government control. In South Africa, the argument is specifically, it is an argument between are we going to remain a free country? Are we going to remain a free country in a democracy or a republic, which is even better because we have a constitution, or are we going to become a communist state? Within the ANC, those are the two factions. Zuma. I'm recording. I'm ranting. Give me a moment. Make me famous. Give me a moment. So we got the Zuma, sorry, just somebody saying hi. Zuma faction, uh, ANC, uh, South African Communist Party, offshoot from that, the um, EFF, because EFF also wants communism. And then you've got the Sora Ramaphosa faction, which is more free market economy, uh, democracy, etc. And they are at war with each other. And this battle is playing out. And the sad thing is that Sora Ramaphosa, being the president, is not a head of the, the, the command council. In a state of emergency, the vice president becomes the head of the command council. That's Zuma. And that's the battle that's taking place. We are in a war in South Africa as to whether we are going to go communist or remain partly at least please dean don't rent don't rent do your best don't rent free market economy constitutional democracy rule of law protecting the individual and that's the battle that is raging if we lose this if we who want freedom lose this battle we are going to be subjects to a tyrannical government it is not by accident that the people who want the extra restrictions who are complaining about the restrictions being lifted are places like the communist party like the eff like certain factions within the anc this disease is being magnified it might be let's say it's a level two damaging disease and flu a level one they're making it out to be a level 10 and it's not they're magnifying it by at least five to ten times in order to press an agenda if you don't see it you are blind you are either ignorant which is bad or you are willingly ignorant like many of the tyrants which means that you are deliberately ignoring the facts in order to press an agenda my name is dean haystack and i'm just a guy who gives a damn that's kind of my thought process on all of that. So, uh, hit the bell. I don't know what that means. Subscribe, like, uh, share, and all that stuff which YouTube apparently requires in order for me to become a hit.